السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم today we shall discuss sahih al bukhari hadith number 116 kitab al ilm under that bab uh, under that kitab bab samara samari fil ilm samar fil ilm that is to speak about knowledge during night time to speak about ilm nafi useful knowledge or religious or islamic knowledge at night حدثنا سعيد بن عفير قال حدثني الليث قال حدثني عبد الرحمن بن خالد بن مسافر عن ابن شهاب عن سالم وابي بكر ابن سليمان ابن ابي حثمه ان عبد الله بن عمر قال فنريتد باي عبد الله بن عمر رضي الله عنه قال سج صلى بنا النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم العشاء في اخر حياته فلما سلم قام فقال ارايتكم ليلتكم هذه فان راى سمعت سنه منها لا يبقى ممن هو على ظهر الاحد ظهر الارض احد نريت عبد الله بن عمر رضي الله عنه نبي صلى الله عليه وسلم رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم led us in the isha prayer in the salatul isha in the isha prayer he was imam to us and when was it في اخر حياته it was during the last times of or the last periods of his life so it was uh, before his uh, a few days before his death okay falamma sallama and when he finished salah al isha with taslim that is salah will be finished with the first salam assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah then second salam it is sunna assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah then after that he said he qama he stood up it is stood, stood up. up for the speech faqala then he said araaitakum laylatakum hadhihi fa inna ra'isa mi'ati sanatin minha la yabqa mimman huwa ala dhuhri al-ardi ahad araaitakum laylatakum hadhihi do not any one of you no the importance of this night the importance of this night of yours huh? then fa inna ra'sa mi'ati sanatin 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 minha then la yabqa mimman huwa ala dhuhri al-ard ahad and he said nobody present on the surface of this earth nobody present on the surface of ala dhuhri al-ard on the surface of the earth tonight this later this night this night uh, tonight will be remaining here after the completion of 100 years from this night so nobody present or nobody living at present during this night tonight will be living here we will be living here or will be uh, remaining here after the completion of 100 years uh, so all will be perished or or will be died after 100 years all present today or tonight will be died after 100 years after passing of 100, 100 years. years then now what is the sharah or explanation given in fatihul bari for this hadith we see fatihul bari so uh, the first part is Uh, discussion about the, regarding the chain of reporters or the sanad that we skip then qawlu sallallahu alaihi wasallam salla bina salla lana ay imaman fi riwayat bina bi muwahhadatin qawluhu al isha ay salat al isha salla lana in this report it is salla lana he performed salah for us means for us means ay imaman lana ay imaman that is for us imam us for Uh, as imam for us and it was salatul isha in another report it is salla bina in both cases the meaning is that he performed prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam performed salatul isha as imam to them hmm? including sahaba that is uh, sahabi abdullah ibn umar who report this this okay now qawluhu fi akhir hayatihi 
جاء مقيدا في رواية جابر أن ذلك كان قبل موته صلى الله عليه وسلم بالشفر and here in this report it is that في آخر حياته it was this incident was just before uh, uh, during the last days of his life في آخر حياته and it is reported in the report of Jabir it is the period is accurate or uh, it is just before one month of the death of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa this incident occurred just before one month of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam now qawlihu ara'aytakum that means ara'aytakum means akhbiruni you inform me you may inform me or what is the importance of this night tonight eh? what is the importance of tonight of yours Laylatakum eh? hadihi ara'aytakum here means akhbiruni it is as the usage in surah al-an'am verse number 40 it is qul ara'aytakum min nataakum radhabullah verse number 40 and 41 we see surah al-an'am a'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim قل أرأيتكم إن أتاكم عذاب الله أو أتتكم الساعة أغير الله تدعون أغير الله تدعون إن كنتم صادقين بل إياه تدعون فيكشف ما تدعون إليه إن شاء إن شاء وتنسون ما تشتكون say please inform me say our prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم inform me Please inform me. Say to them. Say to the people. Please inform me. Akhbiruni ara'aytakum in atakum adabullah. If there came to you the punishment of Allah, aw atatakum sa'ah. Or if there came to you, when it came to you, the hour, the hour means the hour of judgment or on the, the day of judgment. Or the particular hour fixed it to the individual, the death of the individual, the hour, the time, the time of the death of the individual. Then, أغير الله تدعون أغير الله تدعون Is it other than Allah? You would invoke? If your death approaches, you are sure your death approaches. Then, is it other than Allah? You would invoke? You would call for help. You would call for whom? Allah, Allah alone. Eh? You would call Allah alone. Is it other than Allah you would invoke? In kuntum sadiqeen. If you are truthful. Bal. Eh? But you will invoke him alone. You would invoke. You would call for help. You would offer your dua. To Allah alone at that time. Eh? Then, by Iyahu tadu'un, fayatshifu ma tadu'un ilayhi insha'u. Then, if he wills, he will relieve of you what you are affected with. So, if you are affected with a calamity, then you would invoke Allah alone at the time. Eh? And till then, you are calling others for help. Eh? But during the time of calamity, eh, then when you are in serious trouble, then you would invoke Allah alone. And at that time, if Allah wills, Allah may remove your hardships, you may remove your husband, you may remove your harm, remove your, remove your difficulties, everything like that. But then... And at that time you will forget all those whom you associated with Allah. Eh? Shirk. Then at the time you will forget shirk. Okay. You will remember Allah alone and you will call him alone. Okay. You will invoke him alone. No. No, here are the words. For inna ra'isami atis sanatim min ha means. Hundred years after passing of this night means قوله لا يبقى من من هو على ظهر الأرض أي الآن موجودا أحد إذا ذاك وقد ثبت هذا التقدير عند المصنف في رواية 
شعيب عن الزهري كما سيأتي في الصلاة بعد بقية الكلام بقية الكلام هذه The verse لا يبقى من من هو على ظهر الأرض means none will be alive on earth that particular none alive on earth that particular night will not be remaining after a hundred years so none living on earth on that particular night will be alive after passing of 100 years okay then قال ابن بطوان إنما أراد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أن هذه المدة تخترم الجيل الذي هم فيه فمعظهم بقصر أعمارهم وأعلمهم أن أعمارهم ليست كأعمار من من تقدم من الأمم ليجتهدوا في العبادة ابن بطالسيس هي أرض ما سنجرف الله صلى الله عليه وسلم رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أدعيسس his followers the need of doing as many good deeds as possible ليجتهدوا في العبادة the need of doing good deeds doing عبادات doing worship to Allah alone why? because as their lifespan is shorter when compared to the lifespan of others okay that is the previous generations we know Prophet Nuh alayhi salam lived here for 950 years and some prophets some generations some ummats lived here for 40 400 or 500 or 600 like that but this ummat has got a lifespan of 60 or 70 like that in one hadith prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam say a'mar ummati bayna sittin wa sabi'in that a'mar the ages the age of my ummat generation is between in between 60 or 70 years most of the people die in between this that is the age group of 60 or 70 like that eh? then so here prophet sallallahu warns or advises the uh, his followers that their lifespan is very short when compared to the lifespan of the previous ummats of the previous prophets then, then their need for the ibadat, need for increasing the ibadat is mentioned here. He informs them, he advises them to increase the ibadat eh? because their lifespan is very very short when compared to the lifespan of other nations, okay, other generations, previous generations. نوى قال النبوي المراد أن كل من كان في تلك من كان تلك الليلة دي على الأرض لا يعيش بعد هذه الليلة أكثر من أربع سنة سواء قل عمره قبل ذلك أم لا وليس فيه نفي حياة أحد يولد بعد تلك الليلة مئة سنة والله أعلم إمام النبوي says here the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم means any individual living on earth would not be alive more than hundred years after that night and Allah knows the best. Allah knows the best. Now, now we see some notes or some sharah, some explanation from Umdatul Qari. It is another explanatory book of Sahihul Bukhari. Yes. Qal al Kirmani, he said. That is Umdatul Qari's other say. Quotes Kirmani. Qal al Kirmani, Kirmani. Fa in kulta ma ta kulu fi Isa alayhi salam kulta. فهو ليس على وجه الأرض بل في السماء أو هو من النوادر فإن قلت فما قولك في إبليس قلت هو ليس على ظهر الأرض بل في الهواء أو في النار أو المراد من لفظ من من هو الإنس والله أعلم نو كيرماني سيس if one wonders that prophet Jesus عليه السلام is still alive and whether this fact contradicts the idea contained in this hadith. So in this hadith, Prophet says, none alive during this night will be alive after a passing of a hundred years. So even say, Prophet Jesus, Jesus was there then. Still, he lives. Okay. Then 
that, that idea, that fact contradicts this hadith, then how this hadith will be uh, good or how this hadith will be okay, true, how it will be true. Then Kirmani says the reply, that is. He lives, or Isa alayhi salam lives not on earth, but in the heavens. So Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam said, halal ghril ard, on the surface of the earth. Eh? None living on the surface of the earth. And Prophet Jesus alayhi salam, Isa alayhi salam, lives not on earth, but in the heavens, in the sky, the heavens. Okay. Eh? Now, what about Iblis? Iblis is living here. And as far as Iblis is concerned, he is living in the air or atmosphere or in the fire eh? and not on earth, on the surface of the earth. Or he may mean, <coughs> that is, <coughs> Prophet may mean the men living on earth, eh? not other group. And uh, we know, Belize is not man. Okay, Belize is another group. Okay. Jin. Now, Kultu, I say. I say means here the author of Umdatul Qari say. First he quotes Kirmani. Then he <coughs> say his view. Okay. Hadihi kulluha tasfat. Wala yuri ala hada la bi isa alayhi salatu wa salam. Wala bi iblis. Fa inna muradahu sallallahu alayhi wa salam. Mimman hu ala lahiri al-arm. Ummatahu. Wal qara'inu. Tadullu ala dhalik. منها قوله أرأيتكم ليلتكم هذه وكل من على وجه الأرض من المسلمين والكفار أمته أما المسلمون فإنهم أمة إجابة وأما الكفار فإنهم أمة دعوة وعيسى والخضر عليهم السلام عليهم السلام ليس داخلين في الأمة وأما الشيطان فإنهم ليس من بني آدم نو أي سي that is the order of the Qari say all these are wrong notions. Here the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam meant they meant but his ummah generation from both Muslims and disbelievers eh, who lived during the period of during his period. His words are hadhi your night say do you know the importance or you inform me the importance of your night? So, he means what the man who lived during his period. The Ummat, the generation who lived during his period. So, Ummat here includes both Muslims and Kafir of his time. Okay? And, you know, we know Muslims are Ummat Ijaba. The one which answered the call of or the message of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The one who embraced Islam. They are called Ummatu Ijaba. Ummatun Ijaba. Then Ummatu Da'wa. Kafirs are Ummatu Da'wa. The message, the one to whom the message of Islam is to be delivered or it to be delivered or being delivered. They are called Ummatu Da'wa. So both Kafir and Muslims of his time and the uh, coming generations, eh? so, all are ummatu Mus uh, ummatu Muhammad. So 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 one is ummatu ijaba and the other is ummatu dawa. <coughs> no, here <coughs> Isa and Khadir alayhi salam, they are not meant here, or he believes it's not meant here. Only the man lived during his period. Eh? The generations, both including both uh, Ummat Ijaba, that is Muslim, and Ummat Da'wa, that is Kafir, Christian. that is men fully, not <coughs> Isa alayhi salam or Khadr alayhi salam. They were not his Ummats, you know, they were not his Ummats. <coughs> and he believes, you know, he do not belong to Banu Adam or he is not among the men. Okay. Salaam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam.